The Poet and the Lunatics by G. K. Chesterton presents an intriguing exploration of the interplay between creativity and madness through a collection of stories centered on the poet Gabriel Gale. Each story delves into the lives of various characters who, in their own ways, blur the lines between genius and insanity. Chesterton uses Gale as a vehicle to explore profound philosophical and psychological themes, all while maintaining a sense of mystery and wit characteristic of his writing. Gabriel Gale, the protagonist, is portrayed as an eccentric yet insightful figure, often seeing through the facades of those around him. His understanding of human nature and the complexities of the mind allows him to navigate the thin line between sanity and lunacy. Chesterton crafts Gale as a paradoxical character, combining childlike wonder with deep wisdom. This duality is emblematic of the larger themes in the book, where the boundary between reason and madness is continually questioned and redefined. The stories are structured around Gale's interactions with individuals who are considered mad by societal standards. Through these encounters, Chesterton challenges conventional notions of sanity. He suggests that what is often labeled as madness may merely be a different perspective on reality, one that is no less valid than the accepted norms. This theme is evident in the story of Denzel Bullen, a man who believes himself to be a reincarnation of an ancient warrior. While society dismisses Bullen as delusional, Gale recognizes a deeper truth in his convictions, acknowledging the profound sense of identity and purpose that Bullen derives from his belief. Chesterton's narrative style in The Poet and the Lunatics is marked by his use of paradox and irony. He frequently employs these literary devices to highlight the absurdities in societal attitudes towards madness. In the story of Michael Hearn, an artist who creates works of disturbing intensity, Gale observes that Hearn's so-called madness is in fact a heightened awareness of the world's beauty and horror. Chesterton uses this irony to critique a society that often marginalizes those who perceive reality differently, rather than attempting to understand their unique perspectives. Throughout the book, Chesterton also explores the concept of the artist as a madman. Gale himself embodies this idea, straddling the line between creative genius and lunatic. Chesterton suggests that true creativity requires a departure from conventional thinking, a willingness to embrace the unknown and the irrational. This is evident in Gale's own poetry, which is described as both beautiful and baffling, capturing the essence of his unconventional worldview. Another key theme in the book is the notion of truth and illusion. Chesterton repeatedly blurs the distinction between reality and fantasy, challenging the reader to question their own perceptions. In the story of Isidore Smythe, a man who fabricates elaborate lies to manipulate others, Gale uncovers the deeper truths hidden within these deceptions. Chesterton uses this narrative to suggest that even falsehoods can reveal profound insights about human nature and the complexities of the mind. The Poet and the Lunatics also reflects Chesterton's broader philosophical views, particularly his skepticism of materialism and rationalism. Through Gale's interactions, Chesterton critiques a society that prioritizes logic and reason over imagination and intuition. He advocates for a more holistic understanding of the human experience, one that acknowledges the value of the irrational and the mystical. This is perhaps best exemplified in the story of Adrian Crook, a man obsessed with scientific experiments to the point of madness. Gale's intervention reveals the limitations of Crook's rationalist approach, highlighting the importance of embracing mystery and wonder. In conclusion, The Poet and the Lunatics is a rich and thought-provoking exploration of the relationship between creativity and madness. Through the character of Gabriel Gale, Chesterton challenges societal norms and encourages a re-evaluation of what it means to be sane. His use of paradox, irony, and philosophical musings creates a narrative that is both entertaining and deeply insightful.
Chesterton's work ultimately celebrates the beauty of the unconventional mind and the profound truths that can be found in the midst of madness.